Welcome back. I'm here with Dean Martin, the Executive Director of Friends of Fort Knox. Dean, thanks so much for spending oh, the time with us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. And so you guys have just opened for the season. Uh, it's incredibly exciting. Uh, tell us about your organization, Friends of Fort Knox, and uh, yeah. the hard work that you all do to preserve uh, the fort and the Penobscot Narrows Observatory. Sure. So uh, Friends of Fort Knox has been around for about 30 years. Mm -hmm. I'm the Executive Director, which means I'm the Director of just one director, it's just me. There's about th uh, 25 employees, um, but it began about 30 years ago when we saved the fort. It was actually falling in on itself, and we helped raise money, and then with the people of Maine raising another $3 million, $4.3 million later in the 90s, uh, we saved the fort. We brought it back to uh, the state that it's in now, and people can enjoy it. That People tell me all the time, oh, I we used to not be able to go through here, and, and now all that is open and people come from everywhere saying this is one of the best for forts they've seen. So that's our primary mission. Yeah. We're a nonprofit, but we also manage the fort and the Penobscot Narrows Observatory on behalf of the state under lease agreements. So it's kind of a unique relationship, but that's what we exist to preserve the fort for future generations. That's fantastic. And if you go to visit the fort, um, it's an educational experience as yeah, well. Absolutely. Uh, tell us about just some of the things many yeah. things that so, there are to learn there. So, well, I brought this in. This is a 20-pound cannonball. And so you're literally touching history. This is either 100 or 200, somewhere in between years old. This is really 20 pounds. This is yeah. heavy. I yeah. mean, that is some mass right there. So this is a solid wow. shot that got fired. And that's the impact where it either blasted or it landed too. Oh my that's, gosh. Uh, so somebody gave this to us as a donation um, because they found it in their yard that was huh. fired from the Fort Knox side across the water. Incredible. And, yeah, and so what I bring that to you because you're touching history. Yeah. Fort Knox is a gem that is the first Fort Knox. It's named after Henry Knox. Mm -hmm. And you can walk through history. You can literally walk through. If you have not been to Fort Knox, and I know you have, mm -hmm. yeah. People come all the time, they are fascinated. They're like, you allow, you really let people walk through here? Yes, <laughs> right. you allow them off the top, yeah, yeah. through the quarters. And then we do special events as well to help raise money to preserve the fort. And let's talk about a few of those events. Uh, one coming up that I know people get excited about every year, the Ghosts of Fort Knox Guided yeah. Tours. Absolutely, so uh, ghosts, we do ghost tours and then we also do a ghost camp, which is a 12 hour event doing the same thing where you run, I'm sorry, you don't run, uh, you, you become part of a uh, investigation. And this one that's coming up is May 18th. That's the first one of five. And then the other one is, uh, the camp is in, in September timeframe, but you learn how to, uh, how the paranormal investigators with their ghost box, with the uh, motion sensors and all that, you actually become part of that investigation. Wow. Do I believe in ghosts? I have never seen a ghost at Fort Knox. Mm -hmm. However, um, there's plenty of evidence. Our 207 paranormal group, yeah. um, they have captured evidence and they'll tell you the stories. We don't, we make no guarantee that mm -hmm. you'll ever see a ghost at Fort Knox on your, on one of these trips, but you'll get great stories and you'll actually be part of the investigation. And there's a reason they keep coming back. Obviously they, right. they know uh, that they're they're getting indicators there so right 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 I, i've actually one of the things was um some dust falling on a, on a motion camera mm -hmm. at a at its night vision and it comes down and it turns on camera number two and it footfalls you can hear the noises of footfalls walking and the dust coming down and there's nobody there oh my goodness so i was, I was like that's pretty compelling i'm impressed well lovers <laughs> of the paranormal will have to check that event out uh, and something else you have coming up um Real quick, the School of the Civil War Soldier event. Tell right. us a little bit about that, too. So that's actually where the 15th Alabama, they've already done theirs this past weekend, and the 20th Maine, uh, two local reenacting groups come back in July, but this is their training. So they're actually looking for recruits as well, and they practice their manual of arms, and they practice firing muskets, and they get trained up for that so that when they come back in July uh, to do the force on force, they actually have a, a little skirmish. Hmm. Uh, 20th Maine, 15th Alabama recreate essentially a little round top at Fort Knox. Happens every year and we have it two weekends in a row in July. That's fantastic. Yeah. You have a, a summer loaded with events. We're going to have all that information on our website as well, but Great. really quick, I know there are opportunities for people to get involved if they want to volunteer. Where can they go if they want to get involved? Absolutely. So uh, Friends of Fort Knox has a website, um, the info at fortknoxmain.com, the phone number 469-6553. All of that's found on the web, but you can uh, stop by, say, hey, I'd like to volunteer. Uh, kids do that for the community service. Uh, we have the, you saw the damage of all the mm -hmm. trees. We have lots of damage. We have 144 acres. We've cleaned a lot of that up. But there's always something to do with raking and things like that if you're, if you're uh, in that way. Or become a docent or some other volunteer uh, group. And you can come talk to me and I'll tell you more about it. Great. And we'll have, again, all that information on our website, foxbangor.com. Dean Martin, thanks so much for joining us Thank today. you. Thanks all for right. having me. All and right. your full forecast coming up. Stay with us.